Watch Night Tiger Comics! What? Tiger, Tiger, Com Tiger Comics. Tiger Comics! Night Tiger Comics! Tiger Comics! Come with the baby, junkies, <laughs> this is my Black Friday haul, and I don't know, I don't find it too impressive. Uh, got back home after the holiday, went to my LCS where they had still had 60% off. Looked like they were picked clean, but I did find a few things. Picked up some stuff out of town in Jacksonville, St. Augustine. Not the greatest deals, but some pretty good books, and I'm glad to have them in the collection. So these were a buck, so I gave, that made them 40 cents. Uh, I picked up three. They're, they're a little bit rough. Actually, I picked up four. I try not to pick up too many magazines or digest size or even hardcover books because I like to focus on the comic books, and it all takes room. These take a little bit less room, but they're awkward, but... They are, f I am fond of them. I bought these off the, what would you say, the grocery checkout line when I was just a uh, early teen. So yeah, they hold a place in my heart. This is the World Finest Digest. I don't even know what number it is. But it's, you know, these are cool. They have this, this coolness about them. Uh, I got the Teen Titans. I guess these is called the DC Blue Digest. Blue Ribbon Digest, number 18, George Perez. And, of course, I think all of these are reprints. But for 40 cents, I thought, you know what? I'd like to put them on the shelf next to the toys. They look cool. Green Lantern, number 16. I believe these are all from, like, 1981 and 82. And then I have one more. This one's Year's Best Comic Stories, number 71, and uh, pretty cool. I think they look cool. Like I said, I like to put them on the shelf next to the toys. That's where they look, they look the coolest. Okay, so this is for my LCS, like I said, when I got back in town. 60% off all back issues. Now, I have to say, I was very disappointed in my LCS. He may have done this in the past, but I never noticed it. But I did notice it pretty prevalent this last time. When I looked at the wall books, which uh, he had bigger sales this year than he usually has. He had 30% off all wall books, but he marked them all up. They all had orange stickers over the regular price, and my heart just dropped. I, I just couldn't believe that an LCS owner would do that to their customers. I mean, why even... Why even do 30% off? Then do 25% and leave the regular prices. But jacking them up and then having a sale sounds like you're cheating your customers. And you have no respect for your, especially your regular customers. That is just dirty dealing. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I really soured the taste for the store. But I continue to go through the back issue bins. I picked this up. This was never on my radar. I didn't even know that this was a key, but this is the first time that Earth 2, Bruce Wayne, and Celine Kyle get married. And it's funny how it was like a year lead up to the Batman Catwoman wedding that never happened. And then here you have a, three panels devoted to their marriage on Earth 2. Is that ironic or what? But I did read this, and of course it's DC fun. Loved it. Glad to have in the collection. I think I paid, um, so it was $8 regular, whatever that comes out to, about two bucks. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, this one was uh, 80 cents, I believe. Pretty decent copy of Action Comics 401. I'm sure they had this one mispriced because usually he prices these things around 10 or $15. I think. That is a Neil Adams cover, but I could be wrong, but I, th I really believe it is. So that was 80 cents. Then I picked up some magazines. And excuse my wife, she's making all that noise. And I told her I was recording a video. 
Uh, he had a couple. He had some of these. I picked up this one because it has unpublished artwork by John Burns for his Captain America run, and I really wanted to see what that was about. And not only that, I wanted to read the Remembrances by Joe Simon. Those are the two big things on this magazine that really drew me to it. And this was sixty cents, or I'm sorry, forty cents. This one was sixty cents. This one has a Neil Adams interview, and that's why I picked up this one. And also has an article in there about Ditko being back at Marvel. This, I believe, is from 1978, as it says right here. So I thought, you know what? That's some insight I'd like to learn about. And for that, for a dollar for both of them, heck yeah. Okay, so the la I got two more comics that I picked up at my LCS at the sale. I uh, picked up Thor 145. Not a key of any sort, just from October 1967. Part of the thing where he's banished to Earth and um, banishes Donald Blake. Uh, I, f I forget the storyline. I read it years ago. But he can no longer go back to Asgard for quite a while. And so that's pretty cool. It's Stan Lee and Jack Kirby uh, doing all the book. You're never going to go wrong with that, that's for sure. So this was 10 bucks. They had these jacked up to... Um, what do they have? No, yeah, they had this jacked up to $25. So I got it for like 10 11 bucks, I think. And then this one was like $8. This is number 159 from December 16, uh, 1968. Another killer Kirby cover. Of course, Kirby Interiors and Stan Lee. Not a key, but who cares? Look at that. To me, that's a grail. I mean, it has some browning on it. Other than that, that book looks really nice. So I happen to have these. Of course, did not have those two issues, so they help out in my run. The last book I picked up on, and really, I see a lot of enthusiasm for these. I, I'm not saying that I don't like them. I just never really got bitten by the bug to collect these firesides but they are pretty cool I ended up paying 40 uh, cents for this thing and when I posted on Instagram I put a pile of all the stuff that I was buying instantly people were asking me if I was buying this book because I'm sure they were going to ask me to buy it for them if I wasn't so this was 40 cents it's in really nice shape and it was suggested that I clean it up but yeah 40 cents for the superhero women by Stan Lee. Okay, so the next book, I went to another shop, this one in St. Augustine. I thought that she, this lady that owned it had the books priced a little bit high, so I dug through. She was having a sale on Black Friday, but none of the Silver Age or Bronze Age were on sale. I picked this one up for five bucks. I pressed it out. It looks a whole lot nicer. It was a great story. This is actually a key. It's the it's an unprinted story about uh, JFK's presidential physical fitness program that they held back from issue 168 because of his assassination. And then um, President Johnson asked if they would go ahead and print it, and they printed it in this issue. And if you guys remember growing up in here in America that we had to do that presidential fitness program every year, and then you would get like a certificate, and I... Yeah, you would get a certificate saying that you passed. That was implemented by JFK. So pretty cool key issue. Um, not only that, it has this cool story in here where Lex Luthor tries to become Superman's father. And I'm not going to tell you any more about that. Pick up this Superman 170. It's a really cool story. Okay, the next ones, I went to another... Well, I went to a shop in St. Augustine that... They had two shops. The main one was in Jacksonville. So I went and found the one in St. Augustine, and all they had were modern comics. And if you know Night Tiger, he doesn't buy new stuff. And they had, like, more recent issues, like a year or two old. And so I said, I'm going to make the trip up to Jacksonville. Uh, another uh, miscommunication. I mean, they had in big letters on the flyer. 30% off back issues and then the little print which I didn't read was 50% off just the silver and bronze age so when I got there I was all excited I thought well, okay I'm gonna find some deals 
And the guy's like, no, 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 no. The older books are only 15% off. So that really, my heart really sank. But I dug and I dug. And I, if I'm like you, which I am, I'm the hunter. I found the ones that were probably mispriced. This one was priced $3. So I got 15% off of that. And this is Green Lantern, number 30. This was actually a pretty good story. Actually, the backup Green Lantern story was even better than this one. Because it dealt with uh, the core and and the um, Guardians. So that was $3 with 15% off. The guy looked at this twice, the owner. I think he knew it was mispriced, but he let it go. Picked up this Flash. Uh, this was marked five dollars and there's another one that he double did a double take on it uh, Number 144. I think this is from 63 um, It's funny because when I got back in town my LSS had the same one on sale or on the Black Friday sale for 15 And this one was marked for five so I haven't had a chance to read that yet so that was 15% off. That was five bucks. I picked this one up uh, from April 1968. It's not a key of any kind, 374 that I can find, but it's definitely a classic Carmen Infantino cover. And this is a pretty high grade comic. I think it was 20 bucks with then 15% off of that. It's got one big spine tick and two little ones right here and a third small one there. Other than that, this book is clean. So it's probably like an 8.5. But I just love the cover. And I've always seen this one before. And I thought, you know, I want to have this, this classic in my collection. It's one of those, you know, covers where Robin's either crying or killed. It's always Batman's fault. Or it's always the other way around. And then we have several more. Superman 169. I forget what I paid for this. I think this was 12 from 1967 before the 15% markdown. Just another iconic cover. Superman fighting Superman. Number 196. I'm getting into these DC Silver Age lately. It's funny how YouTubers, <coughs> excuse me, it's funny how different YouTubers collect different ways. And then they start inspiring and influencing us, like Silver Silver-haired Bronze Age Babe has really kind of bitten the DC bug with onto me. Silver-haired Bronze Age Babe has really got me into reading these DCs and loving them, whereas Charlton sixty six has got me into Charlton's. This is Action Comics three twenty one. I believe this was $8 before the 15% markdown. And it's another one I have not read yet. And then another... Um, last last in this Black Friday haul was Action Comics, number 308. I think this one was also $8 before the markdown. Just another cool-looking Silver Age DC comic. So, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I, I did okay. A lot of this stuff I probably paid around retail, which I try not to do, but sometimes it just is what it is. But on the next haul, which is the flea market haul, I did a lot better when it comes to making, uh, getting some deals. So stay tuned for that. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. Lock your doors on your vehicles when you're out shopping. But wait, this is about comic books. What am I talking about? You guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate community. Go to my Instagram. Check out my IGTV. You'll probably just see the same video. <laughs> but I post different stuff and uh, just grateful to be part of the community. Merry Christmas.